Do you want this? In this video, I'll be showing you this simple customization steps that will leave you with an aesthetic desktop interface. To this channel let's get straight to it to begin this right away we'll go on to the browser and first of all we have celine ui here and we're going to download this right away and all the links i'll be using in this video will be provided in the description go right here and scroll down a bit on the right side we have latest going to click on latest right here i'm going to scroll down again i'm going to select this version 2.2.9 x64 this is the latest at the time of making this video click on that and wait for it once that's downloaded we proceed to click on this .exe file just click on that i'm going to minimize this if you get any notification like this click on more info then select run anyway okay next i agree and we're going to go on next again select install go on to next then finish after installing selling by default it should pop out by itself but just in case it doesn't come out, you just have to search for it. Go right here and we're going to search for Selene. This is it right here. Click on it. After installing Selene, you're going to get this by default. It comes to the wallpaper and you have this top bar right here. And of course, we have the dock right here. We're going to make some changes real quick and we'll add on to the settings. Proceed to this three dots right here. Click on that and select Selene UI. First of all, here in the settings, we'll go right here to general. The first thing to bear in mind is that you have to enable this run on startup ensure this one is enabled okay now we'll proceed to the next one which is the accent color and you can click on this one right here it's going to open the setting now you get to choose on any of these colors and just click on it okay i've chosen this one previously so i'm okay with this color anyway so we'll proceed to the next one i'm going to x on this scroll down a bit right here and on the themes we're going to select these bubbles check on bubbles then go right here and click on this icon now proceed to wave animations check on that go right here and click on this icon go on to animation start icon go to this icon click on that now after getting all this to the active themes now we get to the top here click on save now we have the segmented top bar which i believe is cool and it looks better this way we'll go to the next one right here go on to fancy toolbar we're going to change height to 35 okay select save now proceed to the wallpaper manager so ceiling comes with the default wallpaper just in case you don't want to use this wallpaper go ahead and disable it right here so i'm just going to toggle this one off select save now as you can see it has returned back to the previous wallpaper i've downloaded one wallpaper which i'm going to be using so here's the wallpaper i'll be using so i'm just going to highlight on it right click on it and set as desktop background now if we minimize this now as you can see we have a brand new wallpaper which is looking pretty cool okay so i'm just going to close this setting so if you want to add more icons to this dock all you have to do is to launch the app first for example if i want to add this firefox i'm just going to click on it minimize it just go onto the icon for the firefox right click on it and select pin so that is all you have to do to add any icon to this dock and also you're able to reposition this icon anywhere you want it to be i just like the fact that it has a player right here all you have to do is to click on this play button to play and pause it as you can see here i'm playing music from the spotify everything is looking good but we're not done yet we're going to the next one right here and before we go i'm just going to hide these icons i'm just going to right click on the desktop go on to view and select show desktop icons now we're going to head on back to the browser and this time we're going to download remeter we're going to click on this one right here we proceed here to this download link click on it and again we're going to launch the .exe file just click on that i'm going to minimize this select ok next install it so that one is done we're going to click on finish every time you install remeter you're going to get this default skin we're going to remove this let's right click on this one on load skin right click on that on load skin right click on load skin right click and on load skin all right now we're going to add on one remeter skin to this and we're going to go back again now we're going to download and install monterey remeter we're going to scroll down here click on latest select the first one right here click on that 
straight up install the setup install it so now we have this remeter settings and we're going to be adding some of these widgets onto this desktop okay the one i'm going to choose first is the calendar once that is out i'm going to drag it to the right side here and the next one is monitoring drag that one to the right and we have weather drag it to the right and the next one is the reminder i'm going to drag that to the right as well i'm just going to get this one out of the way i'm going to make some changes to this widget i'm going to go into appearance of all these options I'm going to make sure this is set to blur and now we're going to go to widget size i'm going to change this to 65 tap on enter and as you can see we have smaller widget which is looking much better go on to the weather right click on it select edit weather and here we're going to change the city and for the sake of this video we're going to change this to london tap on enter and select save right click on the weather again and set it to wide i'm going to do the same right here on the reminder right click on it set to wide i'm going to do the same to the monitoring i'm going to drag it right here now i'm going to change it to wide so now i'll proceed to arrange these widgets Now on the second thought, I'm going to change widget size to 60, all right? We change it to 60 just to make it a bit smaller. And we need to add one more widget right here. Go on to widget. I'm going to enable this volume. Just enable that and drag it right here. I'm going to change this to medium, okay? I'm going to put it right here. This allows you to easily increase the volume of your sound. And of course, here we have details of CPU, RAM usage and others. And this one is the calendar. So you have the reminder here in case you want to write a note. Tap on enter and that is it. And here you have weather info and um, that's all about that. You can proceed to close these settings. And if you need to access the settings, you can just right click on any of this widget then select edit widget and the setting is going to open right back and i'm going to close it again if you are interested in this custom cursor i'm using right now i've made a video about this previously you can check it out and you can learn how to get some custom cursors for yourself And that is going to be all for now. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, do well to subscribe to this channel. Also, leave a like and share your thoughts at the comment section. Have a nice day. Peace out.